Hi there, this is Akhilesh from DataSense. This is our last and final video on Excel shortcuts. Let us see what we have in it. If you want to see previous videos on the shortcut keys, check the description below. Now let us look at the formula shortcuts. After equal to, equal to is important because then only Excel understands that you are about to type a function. As soon as I type S, it will bring me all the functions starting with S. Okay. U, it will reduce the list. As soon as you see your required function and if that is highlighted in this blue color, you can press tab key. It completes the function and then open the bracket also. And then you can continue with your formula writing. So let's say VLOOKUP is there, VL and you can see tab will auto complete and open the bracket. So that way you can save some time. Then F4. So when you're writing a formula, F4 key will it will go through all the combination of absolute and relative references. Then you have alt equal to. So if I am here, I am having all the cells quantity. If I press alt equal, it will take the automatic sum from that column. So wherever I click, it generally looks for cells in the upward direction. Now, if some formulas are there and some values are there, you generally don't know which one is formula, which one is value. Okay. So if you press control and tilde, you can see everything has been changed to formula or in its raw format, like dates were there, dates become number, time become a number. Okay. But my formulas are shown as a text. If I press it again, it switches back to the result of that formula and if you press control and f3 it will show you all the names which are there in the current file maybe you can use those names in your formulas if you press control shift u it can expand or collapse your formula bar now let us learn something about the rows and columns so if i am having these cells if i press control minus it allows me to delete those cells if i have selected column i i can select control minus if I have selected a row, row number 15, control minus. So control minus is to delete rows, columns or a group of cells. Okay. To insert something, what you need, control, shift and plus. Then control 9, if you press, let's say I'm here. And if I press control 9, I will hide that row. If I have selected, let's say, three, four rows, control nine will hide all those three, four rows. Similarly, to hide a column, control zero is used. You can use control zero to hide a column or columns in your selection. To unhide, what you need to do, let's say these rows are hidden, control nine. So control shift nine, I can press, it will bring back to those hidden rows. Okay. Control shift nine to unhide the rows in your selection. Now, sometimes you may want to group some rows. So if you press alt shift and right arrow, you can create a group and that will help you to minimize, expand or collapse that group. Alt shift and left arrow, it will remove the group. Alt shift right arrow, bring the group remove the group same thing is for columns also alt shift right arrow and left arrow if you press ctrl alt and plus you can zoom in and ctrl alt minus you can zoom out you might already know it ctrl c is for copying ctrl v for paste and if you want to cut this ctrl x you can use and then ctrl v for paste same way. Control X will take it away from the original place and move it to the next place. Control X. Then, so Control Alt V or Alt E S that will give me paste special dialog box. And then after that, V will give me values, F will give you formats, T will give you formatting, C will give you comments and notes, and M will give you multiplication, S will give you subtraction, 
and here transpose is for E. So if you press E, you will go for transpose. Okay. So you can explore all the possibilities, but main thing is Alt E S or Control Alt, Control Alt V. Now Control N can create a new workbook for you. Control N. Control T can create a table on the existing data. Like we are here, when I press Control T, you can see a table is inserted. If you want to insert a pivot table, Alt N V. So it will create a, it will try to insert a pivot table. If you press Alt and F8, it will give you the list of macros which are there in your Excel file. Alt F11 can open the VBA editor for you. Let's say I have selected some blank sheets are there. I want to hide them. So the shortcut is Alt O H H. Alt O H H. So that will hide it. Alt O H H. To unhide, Alt O H U. So the last letter we need to change. Alt O H H. H last H is for hide. If you change it to U, it will become unhide. It will open the unhide dialog box. So this is all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you find it useful, please like and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any questions or suggestions, let us know in the comment box. And please don't forget to subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to get more updates.